Good lord, what a long climb! Whew! Oh. Well, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Well, it's a very fascinating story. You see... Buy the Volume 4 DVD! Buy the Volume 4 DVD! I'm sure it's happened to all of you at some point. So... Wait a minute. I thought I blew this place up. Oh, wait, no, no. That was just a bright flash of white light that I put down. That's right. I always get that and heavy explosives confused. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of assassination attempts that probably didn't work then. Well, nevertheless, it's good to see the old girl again. And here we are, back where we belong. So, without further ado, I am Groot. Didn't hear you come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask That Guy With The Glasses. Why is it called a hamburger when it has beef? That's a very good question, and the answer is, it's a giant conspiracy against the beef. For as we all know, beef in French is buff, and of course, we're all aware of Shia LaBeouf. He knew how popular hamburgers were going to be even before he was born, so he tried to claim the name as early as possible. How did he do this, you may ask? Well, how did he manage to star in three Transformer movies that made millions and millions of dollars? Some questions will just never be answered. Now, let's never mention Shia LaBeouf's name again. Unless it's followed by, die today. Yes. Do all Scottish people wear kilts? Every single one of them. Now I know what you're thinking. Haven't I seen some Scottish people wearing pants? Well, they're very, very sneaky that way. You see, they take the same fabric as the kilt, cut it up, roll it into this pants-like material, and then paint it a different color. That way, it looks like they're wearing pants the whole time, when really, it was always a kilt. Not that there's anything wrong with wearing a kilt, I'm wearing one right now. The jean version. And in case you're wondering, I am going full Scottish. I dyed it red. It looks like the hair from that princess in Brave. <laughs> Think about that tonight. Why are you acting so cray cray? Well, if by the first cray you mean mass homicidal and the second cray you mean to small children, because it's fun. I think the real question is, why are you not? That's right, it's a short answer, deal with it. I was working the other day and some guy passing by gave me a thumbs up. What gang does that represent? The feuding gangs of the Siskel and Eberts, obviously. You see, Siskel and Eberts' rivalry was so legendary that there were actual gangs formed from them. Everybody always thinks the Bloods and the Crips are warring because of territory or other disputes. But it's not. It's for two dorky movie critics. Have you ever seen Gene Siskel's bandanas or Roger Ebert's tattoos? They're amazing! I saw them once, but then I was sworn to secrecy never to talk about it. You want to know some other things I was sworn to secrecy never to talk about? Would you like to know who killed JFK? Siskel and Ebert. Did you know that the moon landing was fake? Yes. They just landed on Gene Siskel's head. And the astronaut was Ebert. Pretty much any conspiracy you don't know the answer to usually comes back to Siskel and Ebert. I know this because I'm making it up. But don't tell anybody that. It's the internet. They're liable to believe me. What color is a mirror? The color of you. Plus mirrors don't have colors, you fucking idiot. I suggest you break one and eat it immediately. With onions. Can you beatbox? Of course I can. For schnizzle. If three people having sex is called a threesome, and four people having sex is called a foursome, then what does it really mean when someone calls you handsome? Oh, isn't it obvious? That's when a bunch of hands get together and have an orgy. My hand seems to do it all the time. Isn't that right hand? I'm sorry, I called him by the wrong name. Isn't that left hand? He's just shy and really nervous today. Come on, hand, share all your orgy adventures. He's crazy. He's talking to hands. Why does the sun shine? because he has such a happy personality. 
Unlike other sons who are just miserable and dicks. Like Shia LaBeouf. He was somebody's son once, but not anymore. They've disowned him. Now I know what you're thinking. These Shia LaBeouf jokes seem very obvious and easy to make. Well, so are the Transformer movies. Oh, I can't believe he made that! Oh, what a shot! What a shot! Why do we bake cookies and cook bacon? The same reason we park in a driveway and drive in a parkway. Or wear a pair of panties, but only one bra. Or Iceland is green and Greenland is ice. How we can stuff our stomachs, but not stomach stuffing. Or how my pinky is not pink and black people are just white people in disguise. You didn't know that one? Siskel and Eber are behind that too. No, I'm just kidding. It was Helen Keller behind that one. Nobody ever suspects her. Why don't we all freeze our diarrhea in an ice tray and serve mean people drinks with the shitty ice cubes? Who says I haven't? That's right, Internet. If you're drinking anything right now that has ice cubes in it, you know what's really in there. Does it taste good? Does it? Does it taste delicious? Well, that's to be expected, and you can buy my shit anytime you want at theawesomestore.com. It's also great for watering your garden and fertilizing it all at the same time. Shit on the internet, because people are dumb enough to buy it. Do you want to build a snowman? How did you know about my plan about regenerating life into that of a dead snowman? I thought all my research on that was burned, along with the snowman! Well, let me tell you, every person wants to play God once in a while, maybe even twice in a while, three times! Okay, I swear I only killed four orphan children to get this experiment to work! Five, six, if you don't count the one whose brain I replaced with a dog! Or two dogs, three! Okay, four, but that's my final offer! It was nice doing business with you. Where do you see yourself in ten years? Bringing to life another snowman! <laughs> Do you have a question? My god. Really? Nobody's ever asked me that before. I'm, I'm kind of caught off guard. I mean, nobody has ever bothered to think if I wanted to ask a question. Any question! Any question in the world and I can finally ask it! I can finally unveil it to the universe! This question I've always wanted to ask! It just needed somebody to actually ask me if I could ask the question! Oh god! Waited so long, universe. I've waited so long to put this out there. Oh, I'm so excited to do it, I could just burst! Um, I think that's it. I don't think he's coming back from that one. I Man, I was just so excited it blew him apart. Kind of downer. But then again, he was an awful person. So maybe it's okay in the end. Well, uh, seeing how there's no more that guy with the glasses, I don't think it really makes sense to call it that guy with the glasses dot com anymore. Um. ChannelAwesome.com sound good to you guys? Yeah? Okay. Um... Yeah. This is Chester A. Bum saying... There's no such thing as putting two in the bank that's worth two in the bush. Ooh! There's my home.